Have you ever wondered if you can use conditions inside a TypeScript interface? It sounds tricky, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of TypeScript and exploring how to handle conditional types within interfaces. I totally get it. Trying to implement conditions in interfaces can be confusing and frustrating. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face this challenge when trying to create dynamic and flexible code. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is it possible to have a condition inside of an interface declaration in TypeScript? They want to know how to define a second key based on the value of the first key. Sound familiar? Let's tackle this together. So what's the issue here? TypeScript interfaces are meant to define the shape of an object, but they don't support conditional logic directly. However, we can achieve similar functionality using advanced TypeScript features like union types and map types. Let's break it down step by step. And stick around. I have a neat trick at the end that will help you understand TypeScript interfaces even better. To implement conditional types in a TypeScript interface, the user can utilize a union type along with a mapped type. This allows for defining different structures based on the value of a specific key. Next, the user should define the interface using generics. This way, the interface can adapt based on the value of the sublist ID, ensuring type safety. Now the user can, can create instances of this interface. They can specify the sublist ID and TypeScript will infer the correct type for field ID based on that value. Finally, the user can test the implementation to ensure that TypeScript correctly enforces the conditional types. This can be done by trying to assign invalid values. Fun fact, TypeScript was developed by Microsoft and is now one of the most popular programming languages for building large-scale applications. It helps catch errors early, making your code more robust. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by a user involves using conditional types in TypeScript. They define two separate interfaces, one for sublist items and another for sublist partners. Then they create a conditional type that selects between these two interfaces based on a Boolean parameter. They also provide examples of how to use this conditional type. For instance, creating a sublist item with the field ID item name and a sublist partner with the field ID partner name. This approach effectively handles the conditional logic within the TypeScript type system. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative approach provided by a user involves defining separate interfaces for different button variants. They suggest creating a base interface for common properties and then extending it for specific variants, allowing TypeScript to suggest appropriate properties based on the variant selected. Here's the trick I promised. Always remember to leverage TypeScript's advanced types to make your code cleaner and more maintainable. This will save you time and headaches in the long run. And there you have it. You can now use conditional types within TypeScript interfaces effectively. Remember, mastering these concepts will make you a better developer. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into TypeScript.